My first guest I'm very honored to have, he is a very, very talented individual, hip hop artist. Now he's teaching at Harvard? What? Give it up for Tef Poe, everybody. Tef Poe, everybody! Man, oh man, oh man. What's up, man? How the hell you been, man? Uh, my mic work? I don't know. I've been, uh... I've there been, we go. I've been good, uh, busy, you know? Jumping around, doing a lot of moving around. My album just dropped in, uh, February. So, uh, I went immediately back to work like a psycho. So I'm working on another album, like two different albums at the same time, so... Oh, uh, two different albums right now. Is it gonna yeah. be like a double disc type I thing, or...? I have no idea. I'm just working. You're gonna try to do, like, the Michael Jackson approach, you nah, know, just a whole bunch of double know. discs kind of thing? I don't know about that yet. You're like, nothing but the hits, man. <laughs> nothing but the hits. Hopefully. You know? Yeah. No? Not yet. No, no dice, no luck? Not yet. Maybe? Not yet. No? Nah. I mean, I could be hopeful, though. Right? <laughs> I could be hopeful. So why are you in St. Louis? Because I know you're in Boston. Um, you know, you're in St. Louis right now. What are you doing yeah, here, man? I'm always in St. Louis to some degree, man. Uh, I come home a lot. Uh, I come home a couple times a month. Uh, right. right now, I'm working with Basement Beats. Uh, we working on a... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think anybody in this room knows who they are. <laughs> I don't know they... Uh, who are they? I'm sorry. Uh, they no. changed... <laughs> You know, they changed music for the next 25 years. You know, it, so. Yeah, no kidding. No big deal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I'm working with them. New project, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hopefully. So you haven't really started yet. We got started this week. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. Okay. So it's just been a couple beats, some 808s, kind of. Nah, it's, it's like, a little, yeah, bit that's more, dope. little bit more sophisticated than that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how beats are made, but... Uh, but that, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's an amazing, amazing uh, talent that uh, most people do not have. I don't know nothing about it. So tell me about Harvard, man, because this is last time I saw you was Cinco de Mayo of last year. Yeah. And um, Har where did the Harvard come from, bro? Like it came out of nowhere, uh, man. So like, you know, people who know, who follow me know I, I, I do a lot of different things. I'm like the James Brown of St. Louis, you know, like okay. I cut out the middleman in every corner, you know, so uh, I, I, I perform and speak at universities occasionally. Uh, and I spoke at Harvard uh, three times the year before. Oh, and, okay. uh, how, how, the how crowd, that... the crowds just kept growing every time I came out there to the point where uh, they were like, man, you're helping to change the culture of the university. Why don't you come out here for a year and see what happens? So. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Well, but I mean, oh, you can clap for that. Come on, y'all. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. But I, my question is like, what were you actually teaching at that place? I mean, I'm just being me, keeping it real. You know, you bring, a lot of times, I tell people all the time, like the smartest people in the world are also the dumbest people in the world. You know what I mean? Like the very simple stuff that common folk get, they don't understand. So like okay. uh, sometimes it just takes a person that has the, the ability to just break it down to them and you know what I mean? Present it to them in a way that they're like, oh yeah, that does make sense. Oh, uh, okay. You know? uh, and you're just saying on any subject? Are you talking uh, about a specific thing? Well, is I it talk about, social, is my it thing like is always politics to some degree. Uh, oh, okay. You know, back in the day, everybody know I registered a lot of folks to vote. Uh, I've always been involved in different things, like the Ferguson protest. Uh, right. Started helped start an organization that's fed uh, over twenty thousand people in St. Louis. Yeah. Uh, and you know that's just the line I walk. I take my talent. That's one thing, but I believe strongly in uh, being active and present in the community. So. That's dope, man. That's dope. Yeah. That's very cool. So, I mean, like, have you been able to, like, sit in on some really cool lectures or anything like that? Yeah, every time. I've Thursday. seen that one photo of you in uh, uh -huh. Cornell West, right? Uh, you know, like, That's my the, dog black, right there. That's the my dog. black Albert Einstein, pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, he looks like the, like the black version of Albert Einstein, but yeah. uh, what, are, what are those uh, uh, the, the craziest, lectures like? The craziest thing about the Cambridge is that you see the randomest people walking down the street. So you'll see one day, you'll see like, oh, that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So I, I'm looking out my window, I run outside like, yo, Kareem, what's up, dog? You wow. know what I mean? He's like, hey, who is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, 
I go to Cornell West's class every Thursday at one, just because I got the chance to see him talk every Thursday, so oh, okay. I go. And um, so you got like a Harvard ID? Yeah, I got one. Man, I want to see that. <laughs> Do you have it on you? Nah, I don't. Man, <laughs> but uh, now I go, man. And you know, I usually go pretty zooted. <laughs> okay. But I go. Oh, know. pretty zooted. Ah. Uh, yeah. What? Why? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. Why? Why not, man? Why not? I gotta be myself in every environment. I mean, is it like a, is it like an action flick when you no, walk really you it's listen because, to him? No, really, it's because Dr. West be getting real deep. And you're sitting there for two consecutive hours of just listening to very complicated dialogue. So it's like, when he do call, like every blue moon when I'm, I'm zoned out, he'll call my name and be like, Brother Tef! And I'll be like, yeah, man, I'm with you. What you, what you talking about? You know what yeah. I mean? But I was not with him previously. <laughs> <laughs> At all. That's what's up. <laughs> oh, my God. So when do you go back to uh, Harvard? Uh, probably first week of May. Uh, okay. We're just going to spend some time getting in the studio. I go to Kansas City tomorrow for a show. Uh, me and Coco and J.E. been working. Uh, and then me and my other producers, we've been working, trying to figure out what we're going to do and stuff. So I'm just here working on music, man. Pro supposed to get in the studio with Jenna on uh, Sunday. So your show is instrumental in making that happen because we've been talking about that for weeks. So I love how, like, you know, when you bring a <laughs> show together and then people start to meld together and they start to work together. That, that's how what St. Louis should be doing yeah, all man. the time, y'all. Do you not agree? If you don't, get the hell out. <laughs> I'm playing stay, please stay, please, please. It's a lot warmer, it's a lot of body heat in the room. Um, man, well, thank you, man. No thank doubt. you for being thank here. Thank you, man, love. Hey, love. give it up for Tef Poe, everybody. I got the very, very talented Bushwick Bill coming up next. Can't wait to talk to him. The Fix, let's go. We've got more of the Pascal Show coming up after break.